Welcome back to Unwrapped, where we're doing our best to shake up some stories on shakeable treats. One thing commonly shaken on food is right here. It's salt and pepper, and they're usually found in shakers. Now, don't take these things for granted because they have a long history. And in Tennessee, they also have a museum. So check out what's inside. Everyone has a few of them sitting around. But Andrea Luton has over 17,000. They're salt and pepper shakers, and since they couldn't possibly fit on the table, they're being displayed in Andrea's own museum of salt and pepper shakers, located in the winery square of Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Andrea began her collection of condiment containers in 1984 when she was simply looking for a pepper grinder. My neighbor just was doing garage sales, and so I found some beautiful grinders, but nothing was working. So we bought them anyway, and then I put them on the window. As the collection grew to include salt and pepper shakers, Andrea's husband, Rolf, started building the first of many display shelves. We had shelves everywhere, even in our bedroom. We were living with them, not them with us. Searching for an audience, as well as more space, Andrea and Rolf relocated to Gatlinburg and opened the museum on February 14, 2005. It took my wife a month and a half to pack it and less than a month to set it up again. And it only takes a quick glance to see why. In 2005, over 20,000 people perused the collection of vegetable shakers, animal shakers, wooden shakers, and even shakers from around the world. While hunting for shakers, Andrea is keeping her eyes open for anything and everything that will dispense her favorite spices. I'm not looking for the mint condition. It's difficult to find the mint condition, and you can lose 10 other shapes when you like to have only the mint condition. And for that reason, Andrea claims it is difficult to put a price tag on her collection. However, more precious sets can fetch as much as $30,000 from collectors and are kept in the vault room. We have uh, crystal and glass as well, which are some uh, very expensive ones, as well as the Prussian glass, as well as some that are covered in 24 karat gold. Visitors may come to the museum for the entertainment factor or even to experience a wave of nostalgia. But they can leave with an anthropology lesson as well. All my effort is to show the 20s, the 40s, the 60s, etc., how a civilization can change. You see it through the salt and pepper shakers. Before salt shakers, people in the Victorian era placed their salt in open cellars. The salt also came in rock form and had to be chipped off to be put on their food. Thanks for watching. See us again next time when we unwrap more secrets behind America's favorite foods. I'm Mark Summers.